All right, what up friends? Sir Wilson is back and we're picking up on this third episode of the Brilliant Diamond Shining, Shining Pearl Rival Lock between me and my good buddy Kellogg. Last we picked up, we finished uh, Floroma Town. We made our way from Orberg to Floroma. We successfully defeated Commander Mars in the Valley Windworks and then traveled through Route 205 and now we're ready to head on into the Eterna forest and uh yeah i mean there's not much else to say we we get a buddy we get a travel buddy while we go through the forest we get cheryl cheryl and her chancy rainbow yes yes you can travel with me there is safety in numbers cheryl always have a travel buddy when you're going through spaces and places that you don't understand or feel safe that's a good rule of thumb, no matter what you're doing, whether it's Pokemon or R I R L. So I'm gonna use a Repel in here just because I don't want to risk Cheryl's Chansey killing the encounter that I want in here. And in uh, that way, once we get Cheryl escorted safely through here, we can come back in and just handle the Pokemon encounters on our own. Uh, there are this is the only forced double battle through this entire place So if you want to maximize your experience going through Eterna Forest, you can battle without Cheryl and and uh, um, you, you can battle all the other trainers Individually, you don't have to do double battles through the forest. So we got a Pachurisu and then this Bug Catcher who's got some of the Wurmple Evolution line. I can't remember. I think it's, I think he's Beautifly. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet, we get Poison Fang, finally. All right, we're definitely gonna get rid of Super Sonic. Mean Look can be good at different points. Like if it, you know, um, particularly in this game, cause there are two Pokemon that uh, you can catch later on after the Elite Four that roam around Mesprit and Cresselia. So that's the only real reason to have Mean Look and it won't apply to a Nuzlocke, but at least now it's better than it's better than nothing. So, or and I don't like supersonic. I'm a huge no supersonic. I don't rely on I don't like moves that miss. 55% accuracy is just ridiculous. I think maybe hypnosis is like worth it if 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 you really need to, but for confusion All right, we got the sweet kiss. Way to go, Cheryl. Okay, that was a Beautifly evolution line. So there's Silcoon, Whirlpool, and Beautifly. And there goes our Bug Catcher. We've eliminated him. And now it's just Pachu Risu versus the world. Sonic's up to level 20. I'm gonna have to switch Sonic out pretty soon here. He's getting, a, he's getting too high level. Pachu Risu hits itself in confusion. You went for a sweet kiss and it's already confused? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? That's also one reason to avoid doing double battles is because Cheryl is just... She does silly things and her chance it gets paralyzed. So she's effect... Uh, one in four turns and she's effectively only got a confusion and one hit and confusion turn out of, it, out of those four turns. So you get sweet kiss again. It does land. Uh, but it's not going to matter because we're going to KO Pachu Risu on this next turn with Quick Attack. So Cheryl, he, what was that, five, six turns? Six turns and five of them you didn't do anything. Six of them technically, but you didn't even get to attack on the sixth turn, so we don't we don't hold that against you. Alright, Fury gets Flame Wheel. Chimpish, soon to be Chimpish, gets Flame Wheel. I'm going to get rid of Taunt. I don't really ever use Taunt in a Nuzlocke. And, um... It's kind of hard to predict AI, the the NPCs of like whether they're going to use a move like that. So 
There we go, we have Chimpish now has a physical fire type move, two fire type moves, two fighting type moves. Okay, I'm gonna swap Sonic out and put, um, I'm, I am gonna put you in here, Cricket. Just for passive experience while well, you can get it. Alright, sweet. So let's get these battles going. Uh, psychic, psychic, psychic. Oh, Kwanda has poison thing now. Mm, definitely not gonna use Kwanda though. Kind of hesitant to use Geoji as well. I don't know if this is a great matchup for Geoji. Is it Kadabra? Do you have Kadabra? No, you have Abra. I think one has Abra and one has Kadabra. Maybe they both have Abras. I don't remember that well. It's something like that. But we're just gonna smack it down. <gasps> oh my gosh! And that's why we play with a sturdy GOG. That would have O-code. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, Abra's. Oh. Oh my gosh. Sturdy is an awesome ability. Sturdy is an awesome ability in Nuzlocke's. Holy cow. That could have easily been a huge... Oh, you're healed. Oh, that's right. You're healing my Pokemon for me. Alright, well, I guess we got nothing to lose. Alright, Elijah also has an Abra. Do you have Energy Ball as well? Cause that's not fair. I want energy ball. All right, we're full health. Are you can go for energy ball. You have energy ball as well. And that's why you don't do double battles. We get sturdy, and then we hit the smackdown, which should be a KO. Boom. All right, sweet. All right, way to go, GOG. I hope that doesn't trigger any of y'all in your like extra caution on <laughs> Nuzlocks, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Sturdy is amazing. We can also rearrange uh, GOG's moves real quick because that is his better move. Um, I'm a little particular about those small things. I think it's partly because of VGC and such. Yeah, I do want to use Repel. Thank you for asking me. I got a Great Ball. I love it. Love Great Balls. Oh, I went into the double battle. I, I forgot about the dude below. That's okay. It's not going to be a big deal in this one. Not as big of a deal. If we had done GOG against two Abras with Energy Ball, that would have been terrible. He, she definitely would have died. She definitely would have died. I want to go for Stealth Rock. Oh, hey, look, Quick Claw activates. Go, GOG, Stealth Rock. Oh. Oh, no. Not against GOG. Oh, no. Not against GOG. Oh, they baited me. They baited me with Protect. Darn it. We both went after the Burmy. Alright, we really don't like Burmy. Don't blame it. Burmy's just no good. Alright, well, we know... Oh, they got the Crit Tackle. We know Burmy can't Protect again. Geoja gets the Quick Claw activation. And we go for the Smackdown. Pa-pa! Boom! Ha-ha! See ya!
Chansey has di Disarming Voice. Is that the only attack you have? Other than Sweet Kiss? That's all I've seen of you so far. Oh, you got a Cricketune. Alright. Oh, Stealth Rocks. Yes. That's good damage. Alright, I'm gonna go for a rollout now. You get Sweet Kiss and a Wurple. Okay. It is what it is. Fury Cutter does a decent amount of damage. That's kind of why, I, that's the reason I did want to crick a tot over an Abra, but shh, don't tell Cricket. She'll never know. He'll never know. I don't know. I don't know my genders yet. I'm still learning. All right, we got a huge KO on that Cricket tune though. All right, there's another tackle. You're not going for poison things at all. Oh, Life Dew! Okay, so not Soft Boiled, but Life Dew is the healing move on Chansey now. Alright, so that's gonna heal Utiful, and it heals Mutiful. Not that we really needed it, we're both extremely tanky in this scenario. Boom! Bye, Warp Ball! Thanks for playing! A Dust Ox, huh? Quick Claw? Quick Claw. Oh, no. Alright, it went for Gus on Chansey. That did three damage. Chansey outspeeds GOG. Hits the Sweet Kiss on Dust Dox. And it is unnecessarily confused because GOG is going to hit her rollout. And Oko this Dust Dox. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Ooh, lots of level ups there. We got Sun to level 20. Atrocious to level 15. Atrocious now has an attack in Tackle, and Cricket hits level 12. So, solid. Alright, we get a Cascoon, and the Pointed Stones dug into Cascoon, and Quick Claw activates, so Geoji's gonna get the final hit on this Cascoon with the rollout, unless it misses. And the Sweet Kiss misses, so the Cascoon gets to Harden. <laughs> Safely hardening into the inevitable death ahead. Chansey goes for the tail whip. Okay, we now have seen all four of Cheryl's move moves, and the tail whip helps secure this KO because that harden probably didn't matter. Probably didn't matter, but it, it negates the harden. So there you go. Oh. <gasps> Who did Kellogg lose? I just remembered something. Kellogg has two deaths. Um, he lost... I have to double check. Who did he lose? Sorry, I had to text my girlfriend for a second there. All right, we got some monies for winning. All right, let's see. He, okay, so spoilers, not that it's recorded and you'll be able to see it, but Kellogg caught a smoochum in the underground and we agreed that you can get um, Pokemon in the underground for each different like environment. Um, so, you know, the, the type of room that you, that you walk into, um, the scenery is different. So as long as it's a different scenery, you can catch, um, multiple Pokemon in the underground instead of just one. Um, I, we, I found it pr to be pretty limiting without multiple, like, you know, there's a lot of cool Pokemon that you get in the underground and if you just get one Pokemon from the underground, uh, that's it. I guess it makes it more rare and unique, but the overworld gets pretty repetitive in, in uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl with only 150 Pokemon to pick from and like somewhere between 10 to 20 of them are not available in each version. So yeah, it just, it opens up more options. Um, oh, Metatype went for Confusion. Uh, that does nothing. We're not concerned. All right, we can go for Ember here unless you go for Detect and you just waste time. So Kellogg uh, caught a Smoochum in the underground, 
and somehow it died. I think it died in the battle against Gardenia, but I don't know for sure. It's the way, that's the way I interpreted his text to read, but really stinks. Jinx would be awesome. I would have stole that Jinx 100% because Jinx would be an amazing Garchomp counter for Cynthia. Jinx can potentially, potentially, I don't know for sure, but potentially outspeed Garchomp. Either way, it's going to do a lot of damage with a special type Ice Beam. Suit quad effective Ice Beam, you, you may kill Garchomp through the Yachi Berry with a Jinx, whereas there's not many Pokemon that can do that, so we'll see. Um, we'll see if I get a Smoochum. I would love a Smoochum. Alright, Psyduck and Metatite. Interesting. Psyduck is not actually a Psychic Pokemon, but it does get headaches and migraines. And it learns psychic type moves, although even for Fury Swipes. Against my monkey. Named Fury. What are you trying to prove here, Psyduck? Alright, bye Psyduck. You died to two power-up punches. Alright, Fury hits level 20. Cricket hits level 13. We're three levels away from a Kadabra. Yep, we're gonna use this repel. There's nothing over there. Alright, is that the last trainer? Yeah, those are the last trainers actually. Found a free jar of honey. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we made it through Eterna Forest rather easy. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Rainbow. Sweet. Okay. Um, I don't want to do my Eterna, Eterna e Forest encounter yet because I have three, I have three honey trees to collect on, and if I get any type of bug type out of those honey trees, it will greatly reduce my odds, or it, it, it'll greatly improve my odds of getting a non-bug type out of Eterna Forest like a Whirlpool or something silly like that, so uh, I'm going to hold off on Eterna Forest. <sighs> yeah. Battle these fishermen. Four fishermen. Oh, sorry. Three fishermen. I guess you don't battle that one. That's confusing. Wow, Eterna Forest is like really fast when you just do <laughs> repels. You don't have so many random Pokemon that you run into. It slows you down. Probably takes like half the time. Yeah! Oh, that was a crit. And we got the poison. Okay. Okay. Here comes the water pulse. Boom. Into Gwanda. <clears throat> I particularly love Zubat in this game because Zubat has quad resistance against Gardenia, and you can get Golbat going into battle Gardenia, and that just, it makes that battle like incredibly easy because she can't really touch Zubat. Like none of none of her Pokemon have moves that do great damage into a, a Golbat. Plus Golbat is pretty fast at this point in the game. It doesn't outspeed Roserade in like most cases, unless you're jolly or timid, maybe with good IVs, but either way, it's a pretty clutch pickup. It's a really reliable Pokemon to beat Gardenia with. And we have the six Magikarp guy here. Eh, I'm, I'm probably gonna change into, um, I'm, I'm probably gonna change the Fury so we can Oko all these Magikarp with power-up punches and such.
Buy a magic car. Oh, six Magikarp. They gotta put at least one trainer with them every game. does absorb do? Is it even half? Ooh, maybe not even half. But Magikarp's not going to do any damage, so we are recovering health, Zubat. So we're going to do it again. Come on, Zubat. Let's go, Gwanda. Gwanda gets the KO. Way to go. Not anything to be concerned about, Gwanda. You got this, girl! There's a Goldeen. Was that Tail Whip? Ooh, Gwanda gets the poison. Okay, and you go for another Tail Whip. Interesting. Alright, well, after the poison damage, this is almost certainly a free KO with Absorb. Oh, we don't even need to go Absorb. Does Poison Fang miss? Poison Fang doesn't miss. There we go. Easy KO. Boom. I thought Poison Fang missed. I guess I'm thinking of Poison Tail. Poison Tail misses. Poison Fang doesn't miss. And then a level 10 Magikarp. Wow, we battled 8 Magikarp. Almost nine Magikarp. I mean, Goldeen's like pretty much a Magikarp, if you think about it. Just doesn't get splashed for some reason. <laughs> Yay, Gwanda! Oh my gosh, I want. I love the feeling of using Zubat. And then getting it to evolve at level 22, and then by level 23, it immediately evolves into Crobat. That is one of the, my favorite feelings this early in Diamond and Pearl games. I used to do that all the time in Diamond and Pearl, and I've done it several times in this in Brilliant, Di Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl playthroughs. Is getting Crobat one level after you get Golbat. It's just a just a lot of walk-in, but honestly, you can do it after, because like once you get cut, you like, and rock smash, you go backtrack to some of the places where you can access items now that you have those, and so running through the forest on your feet with the Pokemon in your party makes it really easy. Okay, I have to be careful because I don't think I have a rappel up right now. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, but if you beat the gym, this dude's like 
excuse me, why don't you go on cycling road? And I'm like, I don't want to go. Hey, you, yeah, you trainer. Er, it's okay, never mind. You look tough. I won't take, um, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. X defense, I've got X attack, I've got two stardusts. Okay, that's nice. Made some money! Alright, what do you got here? Do you have nest balls? No. Heal ball and pokeball? That's it? Oh. Whatever, I'll stock up on some items. Eterna Condominiums. I'm the official name raider. Yes, please. I need a nickname changed, sir. I'd like to give it a better nickname. Chimpish. Yes, Chimpish! Weasel, want to trade for my Chatot? No. I would not make that trade in this playthrough. Weasel is very good. I have these TMs for the Mover Cycle for such a long time now. Put them to good use. I will recycle your TMs, ma'am. I've actually never used recycle in-game. It's very rarely even used in competitive. Okay. There's no one in there. What the heck? I don't want to do this yet. Once I go underground, I'm probably going to spend like 30 minutes underground, so I don't I don't want to do that quite yet. All right, here. <gasps> Cynthia Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Oh, hello, Rainbow. I'll be sure to remember that name. The name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help you on your way. TM93s. Oh, those are cuts. I've got a cut. Yay! A Draco play! Da -da 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 -da. Yes. One day. One day I'll have a dragon. I would love it. I would love to have a dragon. Alright, two, route to 11. Alright, I'm not worried about the encounters here. I don't really have anything that's good for helping me catch Pokemon. No, I suppose not. Alright. We're just gonna move. Do, do, do. All right, we got the ninja boy. Zubat, doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting from cover? Zubat! 
No, it doesn't, dude. Ninja Boy Zack sent out Zubat. Go on, Gwanda. Alright, I don't really have any great moves. The the double wing flapping is quite a lot right now. I don't have the patience for this. Gosh, Gwanda. Will Poison Fang do more damage? I don't think it does. Maybe a little more? It's not even worth it to find out, honestly. Let's go, GOG. I don't even think their Zubat knows Z Z Poison Fang yet. No, not. It's 55% accuracy. Come on. Ugh. Great. Confusion flinching. Typical ninja strategy. Ugh. Come on, GOG. Okay, I can't switch. I'm stuck. I'm confused. I'm attacking myself. Come on. Ugh, dude, this is just a waste of time. Oh my gosh. Yay, SmackDown. Bam, boom. Ba 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 bye. Snap out of confusion. Smack down. Bye, Zubat. Okay, sweet. Sweet. We get easy KOs. Easy peasy KOs there. Yes. Alright. The Zubat has Poison Fang. What's it gonna go for? It goes for Mean Look. Solid. Solid. GOG's not running away. Bye, Zubat. Oh, we took exactly 20 damage. We got a Draco plate, we got Recycle, we got Cuts. Okay, no one's learning anything right now. Okay, we didn't, we didn't, um... Ah! Ugh. <laughs> uh, is that what I meant to do? I was gonna try and avoid him to catch a Pokemon, but I guess we're battling him now. Eh. Alright, GOG. What level is your GOG? You're not level 18, are you? You are level 15. Okay. So they, they do have rollout. Ugh. It's not even a two hit KO. Gwanda! Going for rock polish? Oh no! Are you gonna be faster than Gwanda after a rock polish? I dare you to try. No, you're not. Oh, and you went for tackle? Oh, you definitely should be going for rollout. That did a lot of damage though. Alright, Gwanda, finish it off. Sixteen and fifteen. Atrocious is level sixteen. Cricket's level fifteen. I think we get Cadaver tonight. All right, we've have now. Is there there's an Onyx. Hot dang! There's an Onyx. All right, come on, Guanda. Is that a three hit KO? It's close. All right, you rock. You're rock polish. Okay, I think Onyx outspeeds Guanda after rock polish, but that's okay. You do? You went for bind. Now I can't run away. Oh no! Oh no, Gwanda! I don't think it's a three hit KO. I think it's gonna be four. Mm. 
He went for bind and it missed. Come on, Gwanda. Come on, Gwanda. Yeah, three hits. Three absorbs. We knocked it out and we net zero damage. Way to go, Gwanda. I guess. Yeah, we net zero damage. All right, Hiker Lewis. Luis? Louis? Thanks, B Barrel. I don't know how I turned around like that. Look at these beautiful wings! Ah! Oh, look at my wings! Just. Oh, oh, beautiful! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, knock it off. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes a hootie hoo. Oh, bye, hoot hoot. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> Gwanda hits level 18. Geoji is now my highest level Pokemon at level 21. One level away from the level cap and from learning magnitude. Oh, you, I'm going to peck you for that. Can I beat the gym leader tonight? I might be able to. My girlfriend comes home soon, so, and it's almost 10 o'clock. Might be a little risky to beat the gym, but we do have an encounter. We are gonna catch a Route 211 encounter. I'm gonna do it in this small patch of grass, though, just for the lulls about it. All right, come on, Gwanda. What do we got, what do we got? I don't have a repel. There's no repel here. Come on. Come on. Give me something. There it is. What do we get, what do we get, what do we get? A Badoop. All right, I already have a Badoop. So, duplicates claws. Baduplicates claws. Baduplicates claws is what they call it. We're not gonna battle it. We don't need the experience right now. We just need to catch a Pokemon. We can get Metatite, we can get Chingling, we can get Ponyta, we can get Metatite, we got a Metatite, okay. Okay, alright, I found a Metatite. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. We do have super effective damage into it, it goes for Endure, I don't even think we're gonna come close to propping Endure. Do we even get half? It's pretty close. Close to half. She does know a psychic type move and confusion. <gasps> Gwanda! Alright, we're gonna switch just for just for the safety of it. Was that a male Metatite though? Low kick. You are male. I don't want to use a great ball. Mm. I'm gonna use a heal ball. I don't particularly plan on using Metatite, and it turns pink. That's why I like using heal balls on Metatite. I would I would prefer that my Metatite be a female, but it's okay. Alright, so Sun is now level 21. I'm gonna name him Zen. Let's see Zen summary. Quiet, ugh. It's a slow meta type with extra special attack damage. It's not awful. I'll take it. I'm not gonna use it though. Definitely not making it to the starting roster. Actually, I wanna go, I wanna go into Mount Coronet here. I want to get rock polish. I don't plan on teaching it to 
GOG, but it could come in handy in the future. What? I don't even have strength. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't do rock polish. That's rock polish. That little item that you saw there was rock polish. I can't get it without strength. <laughs> silly willy. You silly willy. What do you think you're doing? You, you don't have the strength. You don't have the strength to polish rocks yet, sir. You need to get stronger. Build your polishing skills before you can polish my rocks. <laughs> Silly willy indeed. <laughs> Alright. But I do want... I do want... Cricket to evolve. Okay, who's going to be good against this gym? There we go. Oh man, where's... Where is Pluck? Aren't I supposed to get Pluck by now? Did I miss it? I thought I was supposed to get Pluck by now. The friendship checker, yay, that'll come in handy. Um I missed pluck. It's back in Eterna. Okay, I'm I'm gonna pause and run back there for recording sake, but I know I missed pluck. I know it's in Eterna. Okay, I know I said Eterna, but I meant Floroma. Pluck is here in Floroma somewhere. I just forget who you gotta talk to. Someone in the Poke. I don't think they're in the Pokemon Center. I think it's the other house. I already, I already talked to all these. Alright. I don't think I talked to all of you. But I, I've, I've done this so many times. I know Pluck is here. And I just ran by it. It's in here. It's in here. This is the house. I didn't go in this house. Boom. You. No. Ugh. Yes. There we go. Little girl with the with the Clefairy gives you TM88s. Okay, cool. There we go. I was like, I know, I know. I know I've gotten this several times before. Okay, so we're gonna teach Pluck. Um, in this case, I am gonna get rid of Mean Look because I don't even care about catching those Pokemon. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna run back and we're gonna do some underground stuff and maybe battle the gym before bedtime. If I can find my freaking thing. Okay, be right back. Okay, we went back to Eternity City. I used repels to make sure I didn't get any wild encounters in the forest, so no need to stress there. Alright, um, here we go. Let's do some digging. I'm the first. You can tell the underground does everything else. Let's go underground. 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 I'm ready for more encounters. Okay, you're going to do it for me. All right, open it up. Rourke.
All right, see you, Rourke. All right, so I don't care for items right now. I literally just want Pokemon. So this is a this is my first room, and it is a Fountain Spring Cave. All right, so let's see what we get here. A Gastrodon? Oh my god, what level are you? Okay, to be fair, if it's over level 22, I can't even catch it. Please don't be over level 22. Uh, actually, please be over level 22? What level are you? Level 20? Oh god, I have to- oh. Uh, well that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be so challenging, but I'm gonna get a Gastrodon. That didn't- that's quad? Swallow. Alright, I'll poison it. Come on. I'll try to poison it. Nope. Ah! Oh no! 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 Why do you have agent power at level 20? Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. Ugh. That is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. I just lost Gwanda. Oh. I, there's no way I can catch this thing. Ugh. What the heck? That is so silly. Please don't do like earth power. Okay, you swallow, recover, recover, ancient power. A flinch. Come on, Sonic. Flinch. So uh, okay, swallow. Do you have stockpile? Won't obey. Recover. God dang it. He's gonna take forever. This is the best Pokemon I have to use against it, though. Alright, at least I get some special. I, I gotta boost my special defense. This is gonna take so long. Recover, HP is full. I think, ugh, swallow. Swallow, recover, and ancient power. What else he got? Leer. We pull off Leer with Sonic. You have Water Pulse. Okay, so you have a rock move and a wa- and- ugh, oh god. Oh my god. And ancient power. Recover. No! 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 Sonic, don't nap! Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> okay, waste all of your recovers, please, while I'm napping. We woke up, it turned away, and went for swallow. Come on. Or are we gonna bite off? Boom! That did nothing! It goes for ancient power. Oh my god, this is gonna do so much damage. That did too much damage. Pretending not to notice. It goes for Water Pulse. Okay, we're screwed. Oh my god. I have no way to catch this. There's no way I can catch this. It still has three Ancient Powers, too. Alright, come on, son. That's bad news. That's really bad news. Oh, that's... Worst case scenario. Okay, we're gone. We're gone! Distortion. They call it the distortion. 
world or the distortion realm. Something like that. But basically, if your Pokemon dies in this Nuzlocke, it, it joins Giratina. <laughs> oh my god. Do, I don't have anything for that. Holy moly. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so I, I don't get anything out of a fountain spring room. That really, really sucks. Why? Why? Look at all of these Gastrodon, too. It was like challenging me. <laughs> and I love Gastrodon. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's two rooms this way. I already got. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, chill out, y'all. Y'all are crazy. Why is there a big room like that? I didn't do much in the underground. I've never been in a big room. I've never even seen a big room like that. Alright, there's at least three. Three rooms this way, four. Okay, what is this? Spacious cave, Murkrow, boom. Murkrow, Mur Murkrow, come here. Murkrow! Is, did I get Murkrow or Cricketot? Okay, all right, I got Murkrow. <laughs> what the heck? It seems like it wasn't gonna let me touch the Murkrow. Touch the Murkrow! Level 19. All right, well, this will be better than Gwanda. Well, not better, but it it makes up for Gwanda. At least I get a new flying type. It's not nearly as good as Gwanda and a Crobat. Crobat is awesome, but it'll be good. All right. That's right, I don't have a freaking Dusk Ball anymore. I might kill it if I do that. Oh, I don't want to use that. Man. I don't like my options right here. I don't think this catches it. It doesn't. God dang it. Yes. That did a lot of damage. Oh, Murkrow. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, Cricket evolves. Yay, Cricket! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Chimpish is level 21, too. That might be a little dangerous. Yay! Cricket! Um... It's a crow in a cave, so it's a crove. Okay, insomnia, and you're fast, that's nice. Okay. Not coming to the party right now.
Okay, I don't have anything to teach Cricket right now. Alright, so we got one encounter. Are there any items in here? Well, this is a good place to grind. The Pokemon are pretty decent level. Alright, there's no items. I think this is mostly about Pokemon down here. Alright, we're gonna check two more rooms and then call it for this episode. That freaking Gastrodon. Alright, we already have a Psyduck, so. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Was this a Pattern Spring? Wait, what was this? Hold on, I don't Oh, they're the same room? So that doesn't count? What is this? Spacious cave. Oh, there was a hound hour. Oh my god, that would have been awesome. What? Okay, so we can't. Uh, Alright, so we have fountain spring, spacious cave, another spacious cave, so this doesn't count. So we're gonna go out over here. Oh, da 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 da. All right, a grassland cave, and there's a cherubi. That sucks. I don't want a cherubi. Not right now. All right, there's a murkrow. I don't know what else we could have got. Oh, I should have got more pokeballs. Oh well. Maybe one more, since the that other spacious cave didn't count. Yep. Okay, perfect. Alright, there we go. Got it got a cherubi. We got a cherubi. Got a grass type. A solid grass type. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna name her Cherries. Let's see what your nature is. Modest! <gasps> Modest with chlorophyll? That's awesome! Alright. <gasps> oh, you have a mirror? Oh my gosh. MVP Cherubi? Oh, there's a Scyther? Oh my god. Okay, where can I go? Ugh, Murkrow. God dang it. No, I need one more. I just need one more. I want I want at least three underground Pokemon right now. Ugh, Scyther would have been so awesome. Alright, get out of here. So Murkrow, Cherubi, oh there's a Roselia. Yeah, I would have loved to have Scyther. Alright, maybe I'll do two rooms. Two rooms. Swampy Cave, Zubat, Zubat, Skaroopy! Um. Yes, Skaroopy! Yes! Okay, I think there's one more style room that I know of for sure, which is the, the lava. The lava room. I don't know of any other ones. I think there's maybe like a, a desert one that's different from the spacious cave. So we're gonna go for a workup. Skaroopies are pretty bulky, so quick attack will probably do a little over half now. And I can netball it. Easy. Poison Tail? Okay, that did no damage. It didn't get poison. Alright, sweet. Alright, let's go quick attack. Doesn't even do half. That's nice. Poison Fang and Poison Tail. Ooh, poisoned. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Please don't have Venice Shock. Alright, quick attack. Boom. Poison Fang. Alright, cool. This should be easy. Because I got a netball. Do, 
Alright, there we go. We got Skarupi. Scorpy, Scorpy, Scorp Poison. Her name is Scorpo. Please be good, please be good, please be good. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll take that for sure. That's a solid nature. Plus the special defense, my special attack. Alright, let's go. One more room. One more room. I don't even care what else was in there. Okay. Is this a spacious cave? Darn it! Oh, the other rooms are so far away! Okay, we're gonna go to this one to the right up here, and that'll be the last one. I hope it's a good one. I hope it's not a duplicate. Woo! I forget what those are for. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, we already did Fountain Spring. God dang it. Man, I want one more. I'm not close to anything. Alright, well, we're gonna go up. Maybe I can come back down and reposition. I don't know how well that works. Here's the dude. Aha, I see you've gone underground. Well done. Take these as rewards. Thanks, dude. I lost I lost one of my Pokemon down there. <laughs> it's it's dead in the underground forever. Gone. <laughs> Gwanda! I was counting on you so much, Gwanda. Oh wait, three Pokeballs. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try and go underground one more time, just to get one final encounter before we end the night. I have nothing to sell. I have nothing to sell. Let's go underground. We can do it. We can do it real quick. Oh, shit. Um, ba -ba 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 Register. We're gonna go sideways. Boom. Uh, I didn't know it asked you all those, those things. Ba -ba 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 -da -da -da. map. I can go... the left looks like a long run, down looks like a long run. We can go... up? Mm. 
Alright, if I go to the left, at least I have three rooms to pick from, so here we go. Alright, I'm gonna pause while I run. Excuse my running. Alright, the first room is Riverbank Cave. I have a, there's a Badoo, we already have Badoo, there's a Badoo, and a Wurmple. Okay, we got a, a Wurmple. Alright. We still haven't found a Lava Cave, so... Riverbank Cave, Fountain Spring... Fountain Spring Cave? I guess they're all, are, they're all caves. Can I just... They're level 19, Wurmple? Oh my gosh. That's not good. That's like way too high of a level for a Wurmple. So you're gonna go in the heal ball. <sighs> Alright, we got two more rooms to check out. Uh, don't wants to learn headbutt. Yeah. What name are Rio? Just to be quick about it, you are timid. Okay. Okay. A timid Wurmple. That's pretty good. No. Oh, a big mushroom. What, was that a Cranidos? No, it's a crow gunk. Oh, and a lick -a tongue Okay. Oh shoot, I can't get out this way. Uh, I gotta go out the way I came. Yes, I have to go. Ah! Okay. God dang it. Ah! Come on. All right, I'm gonna pause real quick. Diglett. Digga 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 digga. Okay, one more room. I guess I may try all three of these since we're down here. Grassland cave. Okay, be something good, be something good, be something good, be something good. Baneri, boom. Okay. Wait, did I get grassland? Oh man. I think I already have grassland. I'm not gonna count it. I think I already have grassland. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a yes on that one. They look the same. Okay. Don't get a grassland, or we already have a grassland. Are those a lowland diglet? Okay. We have a new cave. It is... Spacious cave. All right, that's that's nothing. I already have one. Two. Stillwater cavern. Okay. Please be good. Please be good. Wormful. All right, wormful. Crow gunk. Boom. All right. Cavern versus the cave. Why the intimidate or why the revenge? I mean, I'll, I'll take it once I have it, but uh, please don't. <laughs> that would have done a lot of damage. It goes for taunt. Okay, I just need a little thunder shock. Come on, Sonic, just a little thunder. Oh, you have sparked. Okay, one obey, headbutt. That's, 
Uh, that was a crit? Won't obey. Goes for a headbutt. That does five damage. Shook off the taunt. Turned away. Use flatter. Ugh, okay. I'm just gonna switch this to Arabia now. Flatter, headbutt, revenge. Maybe like mud slap. No. Okay. I will intimidate cycle you until you stop using flatter. I just don't want to deal with confusion to catch you. Oh, Sonic. Okay, we get the Intimidate. Goes for Taunt. Oh, Taunt. Taunt, Headbutt, Revenge, Flatter. Turned away. Goes for Taunt. Come on. There we go. No! Oh my gosh! God dang it! I'm so upset. I wanted that so bad. Bullet seed is useless! Oh my gosh. <sighs> I, I really want this lava room. Man, I shouldn't have used Spark. I definitely should have been using Bite, but I forgot it got Spark and not Thundershock anymore. That's it for this one. We'll pick up and battle Gardenia in the next episode and play with Kellogg probably on the next the next recording. So that's it. Bye bye.